I think we're all becoming increasingly aware that we really just have to bring about very fundamental changes to our food systems if we want to tackle hunger, tackle climate change, protect the environment and basically make our world a more resilient um, and sustainable place. Now, the only way we're going to bring about that change is through technology. I mean, there's all sorts of ways that technology can help to bring about these changes, but also we know technology is not enough. We have to have the right technology focusing on the right issues and very, very importantly, we need to make sure that people have equitable access to that technology and equitable benefits from, from the use of that technology. So I think the ATIO process is going to be really, really important in taking a, a longer term forward look at what's coming down the pipeline in terms of different sort of technologies, what some of the really big opportunities from those technologies are. Um, but also perhaps what are some of the risks from those technologies. And I think with a better understanding of this forward look of what the technology menu is, is if you like, we can use the sort of thinking from something like the ITO to be much more targeted in how that technology is applied, um, the sort of policy and regulations we might need to make best use of that, how we get the right sort of investments in place to optimise that use, and how we can really try and make technology much more appropriate, particularly in the small-scale agriculture farming world, for example, or for those that are um, suffering hunger and, and, and poverty, um, so that we can really um, you know, optimise technology's potential for a much more uh, equitable uh, development.